All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Roberto Duran. If you're advising the opponent here of this guy who likes to throw the uppercut, and you want to give him some advice as to how he can counter that, what would you tell him? So there's several ways to go about it. One way, if you remember, Evander Holyfield, where he fought Buster Douglas, and he won the heavyweight title. He saw the uppercut coming. He took a little half step back. He made it go into space. And then he filled that space with a punch. Blocks that belt line well. Flush right hand to the head. Duran showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Blocks away that head shot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Pacquiao's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Oh, hands up, hands up. There's another left hand from him. Watch the headshot. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Manny Pacquiao. Roberto Duran is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Inside, inside. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Scored well up top. Teddy, when fans come to see Manny Pacquiao, when viewers tune in to see Manny Pacquiao, they do it for one reason. They think they're going to see a lot of action. Is that what we're going to see? Yeah, he's fan-friendly. And you know that he's going to be a guy that's going to take chances. He's going to be a guy who's going to try to get to his opponent. He's going to be a guy who's going to walk forward at some stage. Huge left hand from Pacquiao. Not able to land the uppercut. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Roberto Duran's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Oh, you got this one. Oh, what a whiff by Roberto Duran. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He missed with that headshot. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out. Roberto! Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price, he goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not gonna work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. A solid uppercut by Roberto Duran. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Protecting his head well with his guard. And that's the end of round two. Pacquiao's cut man is gonna earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avatine, Adrenaline, and Thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. A very crisp combination by Manny Pacquiao. 
Not precise at all by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water on top of the head where you revigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Duran so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Took a shot, now he gives a left. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see, a good combination punch by Roberto Duran. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Oh, good exchange there. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And this round comes to an end. While well, things continue like this, this is going to be an interesting stretch run of this fight. Beginning of round number four, Roberto Durant's in really what appears to be a dead even fight on your scorecard, Teddy. Yeah, it is. And to separate it, if they're going to separate themselves as the night goes on, it's going to come down to the inside. Whoever decides not to make those little silent agreements, you know, you hold me, I won't punch. I hold you, you won't punch. Whoever decides to bring their hands back and do some work on the inner quarters. Good combination to the body. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Roberto Duran's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Fires off that hook. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Halfway through round number four. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Nice strike after catching one by Roberto Duran. Pacquiao's got a cut. We can see that he's bleeding from his mouth. And that can be a real problem. People don't realize it. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. A crushing two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Keep that head moving. Oh! Manny Pacquiao is floored from that power shot. You know, sometimes a Pacquiao opponent can just time things. That's what happened there. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. And now he scores with that left to the body. Okay. Round comes to an end. Good. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, That's you want to actually use now. that for a posture. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place and see it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Manny Pacquiao in a lot of trouble now. The ref is thinking about stopping it. You roll dice as often as Pacquiao rolls dice. You're going to crap out every once in a while. There's the old one-two. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. 
Pacquiao is playing maybe to have more urgency at this point because that Keep cut moving. of his Keep just moving. has blood streaming all over him. For the sweet side. Solid. Manny Pacquiao finds himself on the receiving end of a knockdown blow again. Oh. So used to seeing Manny Pacquiao in complete control, now the tables have turned as he rises up and beats the count. Hands of stone with a rock full of right hands. Crashes home with the uppercut. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Pacman scores with an uppercut. Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Very nice defensive guard there. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Keep your hands up. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Did you see that? Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Not able to land the headshot. Big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four. over fight is over Manny Pacquiao's gunned down yet another opponent a knockout victory you got this one. You got well, they are underway scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two they're sending more than one at him now the combo to the head turn that hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect A lot of advantages here with a speedy fighter against a fighter with low stamina. What does he have to be careful of, though? That he doesn't burn himself out. That he doesn't go out there so fast he gets ahead of his own pace. Roberto Duran's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Halfway through this round here, very accurate two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. A clean, big hook to the head by Roberto Duran. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Golden. What an excellent two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Eddie, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. And a nice combo by Roberto Duran. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Golden. Duran's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Final 10 seconds. They both decide to bring it. 
The Rams hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Again to the melon. Golden's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Duran showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Look at that combination by Roberto Duran. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through this round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roberto Duran. Little volume punching to the body there. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Golden's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Roberto Duran's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Blocks a shot and then does nicely to work on his own. Excellent one-two by Roberto Duran. Great work with the left hand by Golden. Can you believe that? If there were 30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Duran's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. Keep working. Good, good. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Good shot to the head with that right hand. That's where you want to be. Golden's really in position to control things in this fight. If he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good solid jab. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Roberto Duran. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Cover your head. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Locks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. And the round comes to an end. And let's show you Teddy's scorecard for the first three rounds. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. That was a miss by Roberto Duran. How about that left hand? Oh. 
And now he scores well with a straight right. Duran starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Golden. Precision work with the left hand by Golden. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. Duran's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. All right, what's the answer here, Teddy? I mean, time and time again, he is getting hit with headshots by that right hand. The answer is not going to help him. The answer is to go back to the gym and be taught properly how to get away from that punch. Probably too late now. Golden's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Duran's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. And round four comes to an end. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Duran's right hand scores well. You see him holding on. Golden's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Roberto Duran. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Golden. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Duran's combination punching is working well here. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. The right hand scores well. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Roberto Duran's been as accurate as I've ever seen him. And that's why he's in control tonight. And I don't know if his vision is 2020 or 2030 or whatever, but. With a fighter, the reason you're accurate is because you're calm, you don't waste anything, and you have good technique. That is showing right here. Well, he's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say, Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands in his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. Duran counters back. Good work on the outside from him. And that was set up by his inside fighting early, a place where, quite honestly, I expected him to be all night long, but now he's getting the privilege, he's getting the luxury of being able to stay outside a little bit. Halfway through round six. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Relax. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Golden. Good flush one-two jab and a straight hand by Roberto Duran. Roberto 
Kyler Durant showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. And round six comes to an end. Roberto Duran's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats, he's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way, because I can't see it any other way. Teddy, I know you swear by it, and we're seeing it right in front of us. Good fighter, likes to fight on the outside, who's having a stellar night with that jab. Hey, look, if you're gonna be an accountant, you better know math. You better know how to add. If you're gonna be a good fighter, as far as I'm concerned, you better have a good jab. To the head he goes with a left hand. Solid right by Golden. What a big shot. Oh, banged around and down. So he has some choices to make. Two of them. One, do I get up? And two, how do I behave once I'm up? Somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. There's the combo downstairs. Duran's doing exactly what he wants to do. He's an inside fighter, and he's getting right to the inside in these middle rounds. Yeah, exactly, and he knows what to do. See, that half of it is get to where you need to be. The other half is do what you're supposed to do when you get there. He's doing both. Good job on the two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. And round seven comes to an end. Roberto Duran's been making a point of seemingly in control and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up and bang. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Nicely timed one, two. Golden's left now getting into the mix. Close the distance. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. And yet another right hand lands. The halfway point of round number eight. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Golden's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's gonna come back. Durant's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. We count down the final moments of this round. Roberto Durant's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And round eight comes to an end. Well, we've seen this before. A fighter with a bad cut 
and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling and he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice. Oh, and a big right hand lane. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. Now he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. Durant's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Scores up top with a left. Missed the body shot. Golden's using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spots. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. He stays downstairs. <laughs> Nothing there on the punch by Roberto Duran. <laughs> right to the head with that right. <laughs> Boom, left hand comes home. Wow! Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Come on! One, get to your feet! Two, three, four, get five! Duran's power punching tonight has been on the mark throughout. You almost wonder if his opponent can take any more. Yeah, well, you wonder if his opponent gets insulted if you miss him. I mean, move your head. Come on, kid. He just missed that shot up top. Yeah. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Roberto Duran swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in the old days. He stands right in front of you and you can't hit him in the backside with a hard charging with that right hand. Hold on. Teddy, he's trying to punch his way out of this damage he's incurred, but that's not. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Stand up! One, stand up! Two, three, four, Hurry, five, stand up! six, seven, eight, get up, damn it! Roberto Durant's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Unable to make an impact there by Golden. Big left hand. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Oh, and there you go. Roberto Durant's down. He is down, and I don't think he's going to beat the count. I don't know if he wants to. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
fight is over. A knockout, unable to beat the count of 10. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Tonight we have a guy who has a very powerful uppercut. Is there one characteristic that most guys who are able to throw that uppercut well have? Well, they snap their shoulder up. They explode that shoulder towards the ceiling. And they go right through the guy's chin. Not to the surface. They want to go right through. Nice two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Way to block there. Roberto Duran's bang to the noggin. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. The combo lands upstairs. Roberto Duran is able to land a good, solid left hand. Missed that uppercut. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Body shot, left hand. Forward, forward. That's what I like to see. Duran's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Right hand from Duran. Roberto Duran's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Don't walk into his budget. Roberto Duran's proving to be elusive. Nice strike after catching one by Roberto Duran. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. There you go. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counterpunch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Roberto Duran's doing a beautiful job here early on of counter punching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counter punching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Nowhere close that punch by Roberto Duran. Solid left. Super two punch. Duran's absorbing a left hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. He is wobbly and damaged and just flailing with his arms trying to punch back. Roberto Duran's punch didn't come close. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Good doubling up of the jab by Roberto Duran. Able to block and counter back. Duran's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Durant's left, working well that time. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. A good block. That hook was well off the mark. Duran's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice 
they know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Roberto Duran with a big uppercut. A flush hook scores well for him. There's the combo to the body. Duran's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Good left there. Good combination to the head. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. He missed with that headshot. Teddy, based on what we're seeing here early on, I think he was much too amped up for this fight. He came out, he was hyper with the way he was throwing punches, and now he's starting to tire. Yeah, I agree with you, Joe. He started too fast. He threw a lot of punches, but not effective punches. He didn't place those shots, and now he's paying a price. And that's the end of round three. Round number four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Roberto Duran's taken the first three rounds, and Teddy, it's not always the number one indicator, but in this case, he's simply just throwing more punches, and that's why he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, Joe, he's keeping his opponent defensive, and he's not allowing him to do anything back. Here he comes, nice and aggressive, red hot, going after it. Much the way he finished up the action the last time we saw him in the last round. Hey, look, if you're a fisherman and the fisher was good in a certain spot, <laughs> you can't wait to get the boat out to that same spot. He's rolling right out there. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can... And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Roberto Duran's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. And now you can see blood coming from the nose of Roberto Duran. And he just holds on there. Good shot there with that left. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good one-two by Roberto Duran. He's targeting downstairs time and time again. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Duran's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Solid left hand to the head. You know, it's one thing to be a catcher in baseball, but you don't want to be one in boxing, and that's what he's doing right now. He's getting hit. Yeah, and he's got to find a way to pitch. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Combo lands to the head. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Halfway into round number five here. Good, solid right hand by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Punch! Punch! 
Targeting that midsection now with the combo. No, his opponent got away from that uppercut. Cover your head, Big shot. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. One, two. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. As we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's accomplished. Duran's precision punching has carried this fight. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's not because he ate a lot of carrots when he was a kid and he has real good eyesight. It's because he's calm, he has good technique, and that is why he's right on the mark. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. Relax, relax. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, though. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. Roberto Duran's almost out of it there. He was stunned. One shot, the left hand. And yet another big shot comes in. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. but able to get up to his seat. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. There it is! Roberto Duran's got to be in the count, but I don't think he has it in him. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. you got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Roberto Duran's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Solid. Throw the scorecard down. Roberto Duran's down and looks to be out. Come on. One, get on your feet. Two, three, four, get five, on. six, seven. Does it unable to beat the count of ten? A knockout in the book. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Leonard versus Duran. What lingering effects to the whole no moss issue still have? Well, first of all, we have to understand what that was. I think that in that fight, Duran did not come in top shape. And he was Roberto Duran, the hands of stones. And Lennon was fighting a smarter fight, a more difficult fight than he fought the first time. And he was moving on him, and Duran couldn't deal with it. So Duran thought, hey, you know, when you were a kid, you're not playing your game, they're not playing your game, so you take your ball and you walk away. 
He really thought that he could say, hey, I am the man Durant. I can just walk away. If he's not going to fight this fight, I'm not fighting. Get out of here. He didn't realize that it was really quitting. Now he understands with that avalanche that came on him, he understands what he really did. And he has to find a way now to erase that. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Back upstairs he goes. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Commits to the straight right. Good work defensively by Roberto Duran. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little note pen. I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. He gets off with a combination up top. Effective work with that flush overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Off the target by Roberto Duran. Once again to the head. And now he's targeting upstairs. Sugar Ray Leonard's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. He comes with the straight right hand. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. He nearly lifted him off the ground. What an uppercut by Roberto Duran. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Roberto Duran. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Leonard's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Coming to the end of this round, Joe. A lot of busy activity, and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer, or do you like the pace to be a little slower, just depend on each guy? No, if I have a fighter, I'd rather have a guy fight a guy that you never see him. So leave me the heck alone, and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Yes, Roberto Duran's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Leonard's on the receiving end of those two good hooks to the body. Back to the body! Great work offensively landing that combination by Roberto Duran. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtlety here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Roberto Duran. Keep your hands up. 
Trying to go downstairs, but off target. That's okay. Hey, him back. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Three minutes gone by in this round. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Duran's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. He comes back with the left hand again. Targeted counter punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. Keep it going. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. Oh. Roberto Duran's doing well here with that two punch combination. Engages in the clinch. Come on, oh, what an exchange! That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Roberto Duran. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Sugar Ray Leonard. <clears throat> and just grabbing on to his opponent. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Roberto Duran is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Using those feet, using that jab on the outside well. And you know what? He used his head early in the fight because he went inside, which is really where he's set up for, and he got his opponent's respect. And now that respect is paying off because he's being allowed to stay on the outside and control things. Roberto Duran so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Roberto Duran is able to avoid that punch. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Duran, what an uppercut. Roberto Duran's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Not much action as he just ties up. Roberto Duran's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Roberto Duran. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Leonard's gaining some momentum on his side and starting to pour it on. Oh, what kind of punching is this? I mean, he's got nothing on these shots. He's so hurt. You know, he's not... Oh, what a left hand. And what a clever, and bang, and away he goes. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. Get one, two, three. Roberto Duran's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. You can do it. You can do it. 
start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gamble. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> remember, remember the guy who wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Not able to... Roberto, a big shot there. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roberto Durant's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you'd give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move. Him. Look at that! That was a big shot at Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three. Roberto Duran's rising back up. That takes some guts. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Duran's finding a way to get a breather here, and the way he's doing it is clinching. And you can't blame him. That's what he has to do. That's what a smart fighter would do in this situation. But his opponent should not allow him to get away with it. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Little head knocking with that right hand. Roberto Duran, he is damaged badly. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, It's over. This fight is over. Roberto Durant's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim.